The Great Migration was a massive movement, so it only makes sense that a book about it is massive too. We're talking about the warmth of other suns, the epic story of America's Great Migration by Isabel Wilkerson. Isabel Wilkerson's writing is phenomenal. Okay, she's a former New York Times writer, a Pulitzer Prize winner, and I actually read her second book first. That one is called Cast. I did a review on that. Y'all might remember. Her argument was that America has a hierarchy based on race. Phenomenal book as well. And Isabel does her research, honey. Okay, she interviewed more than a thousand people for this book, and she tells the story through the lives of three people, one who left from Mississippi, one from Florida, and one for Louisiana for the North or the West for a better life. And what's also really cool is that her mother is one of the six million people who is part of the Great Migration. So that story is included as well. Let's talk about some of the numbers because they're phenomenal. So the Great Migration is the period from about 1915 to 1970 when six million Black Americans left the South for the North and West for better lives. Okay, so before the Great Migration, you had about 10% of Black people in America who lived outside of the South. After the Great Migration, six decades later, you have about 47% of Black Americans who live outside of the South. Listen, whatever Isabel is writing about, she is not giving you less than 500 pages. In fact, this book is closer to 600. But do not be intimidated because her writing is so phenomenal, you really don't feel the length. Love about Isabel Wilkerson is that she takes you to history class. Well, not really, because I was a great student and I don't know what I learned in all those years of history class, except the same lie about Christopher Columbus and the same three black heroes over and over. But now that I'm educating myself through reading, history books are some of my favorite. Isabel argues that the Great Migration is the biggest underreported story of the 20th century. And I think there's two things you get out of this book. So one, you really get to understand the experience and mindset of someone who picked up their life from the South during that time period to move, make a a massive move for a better life. You understand the violence that they were facing. You understand the lack of job opportunities and opportunities in general. You understood that when they got to the North, things weren't easy. They still faced all kinds of obstacles and difficulties. The second thing that you get out of this book is the reason why I think everyone should read it because we still see remnants of the effects of the great migration in societies today. For example, the configuration of neighborhoods, why black neighborhoods are in one spot and white neighborhoods are in another spot. White fly how the suburbs came to be, where housing projects were placed. So if you're like me and you didn't know much about the Great Migration other than that a lot of Black people left the South, um, I think you should definitely read this book. It's one of those, I know that I say so much is essential reading, but I just think it's really hard to understand the current context of America, the world, society, if you don't know history. And that's why it's a shame that schools aren't really teaching history. Mm. But we can teach ourselves. Grab this book.